discretion is advised. Direct from Albany, New York, it's time for the New Media Zone. With your hosts, Ed and Dave. Tonight, a look at this week's new Welcome to the new media zone. How come your head thing got bigger? It, when, yeah, what when, is that? When I, it, that's not operated by... Try that it. again. Hello! I don't know why it got oh, bigger. It was weird. I noticed that too. And I still don't know. We have the uh, face recognition on the one camera, which I have to turn off. My face is not being recognized no. as a face here. Uh, maybe it's uh, Dave's hirsute beard. Oh. Uh, well, the very bad haircut I just got. Yeah, you got a fresh haircut. Where do you go for your haircut? Uh, down now? to the barbers down the street on Western Avenue. Um, I went there with my long, my hair was kind of long. Uh huh. And I went and the bald guy was doing my hair. Uh huh. Does and, he know how to cut hair? No, yeah, he knows how to cut hair. But he said, you know, they, I don't go very, I go twice a year. And he said, how would you like it cut? And I said, uh, cut it down to about an inch in length. And he stepped back and says, what? <laughs> I go, what do you mean? I go, yeah, about an inch. He goes, but you've got such a nice head of hair. I said, it, it'll grow. <laughs> I go, this keeps me from coming back to see you for another five, six months. Yeah. How much is a regular haircut? Uh, for... It's $14, Ed. 14 that's what I do, or 15 for my private. Is that including the tip, though? No. No, and then it's a tip, and you, yeah. what do you give him, 20 what? Well, you know, no, I give, him, I give him three bucks. Three dollars. Okay. Yeah, that's like more than 20 percent. 20 percent would be 280. I give him 21 percent. That's enough. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You really don't have to do much. Just take the damn clippers, turn the buzzer on, and just zzz. Yeah. That's it. They had bald guys waiting. <laughs> they have to get their horseshoe their yes. trim or whatever Well, this is exactly it. what I walk in there, <laughs> I, I, and, 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 and there's two bald guys with the ring. <laughs> And one guy whose hair was, if it was half an inch in length, it was a young guy. Yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, the young guy's there, and maybe his son is somewhere. I didn't pay attention. Maybe, you know, somebody they bring their kids. No, no there's no kid there. And then the, the bald mm -hmm. guy got up and sat down, and I'm looking at him. I'm thinking mm -hmm. to myself, I yeah. could mm -hmm. take my pair of scissors and go, Ch -ch -ch -ch, you're done. It took him 10 minutes. Oh. I don't know what, what they were doing. And then the ball, the guy with the short hair, he went, I don't like, what? My hair that I just got cut is longer than his hair before he got it cut. Oh, and he sat down and he said, he goes, just, just as, close, as close to the scalp as you can get it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, that you could do at home with the flow beat yes. or whatever they or call well, it, or the trimmer. Yeah, I got my own trimmers. The facial trimmer, you could trim that up easily. I got a hair thing where you put on the different clips. Yeah. You can do it. So what I'll do a month from now, when this grows a little bit, I'll go over it and take off an eighth of an inch just to buy me another month yeah. before I have to go back. These guys are getting their hair cut and they A, don't have no hair, or B, it's already okay. only half an inch long. I don't understand why mm. you would do that. I'm not, I guess that's the communal experience. I think it going is. Out to, do they have, is this the old... Uh, Barber, where they have the pole thing, the um, white or I whatever it is. Don't know if they have one. They used to have one. I don't recall seeing it. And do they have the combs in the blue water, whatever that was all about? Yes, they do. Yeah, that they do. I hate. I really hate going to the barber. Mm. I would rather go to the dentist than go to the barber. Mm. I don't know why I hate it so much, but I just do. Hmm. Um, but yeah, he was shocked that I said I want. I said, it, "Don't worry, it, it'll it'll go back." Yeah. All right. Well. Then he's cutting it. He's like, well, you have no sign of losing your hair. <laughs> I'm like, good, you thanks. You think you would know at this point. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. But anyway, there's my barber story. <laughs> the barber story for you. Yeah. Remember, we, uh, I did, though, when uh, we talk about Alicia. 
Oh, yes. On this show. I was going to invite her down sometime. I don't know if she would come down, but I'm going to throw a... She used to, we used to work with her. Right. Just don't ask your other friend. No, the other friend, uh, we, uh, she might show up. Who knows? No. <laughs> no. If she shows up, I'm not showing up. Oh, no. Up. no. Okay. Yeah, a little trouble that. there, but... I don't know what it was. I don't know what I did, but I don't want no part of it now. Yeah, it was a very slight compliment to uh, uh, Alicia, who we worked with, and who was my barber for a little yes. bit. Yes, yep. And she worked at one of these local pl salon mm -hmm. places, and... Uh, uh, like we mentioned, I think it got onto the show last week. She was, uh, I don't know if I can say this, maybe she won't come down. <laughs> but, oh, no. Uh, uh, I'll say it this way. She used to bump in, into my arm in other parts. Oh, she was, uh, that was, that's <laughs> just trimming. You know, that's, uh, <laughs> that happens, you know. If, that's it's, uh, innocuous. Yeah, just a minor thing. but uh, right. Okay. All right. She's not showing up. I'm going to ask her to come That's down. That's not happening. I'm not going any further. <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Uh, we got movies. Oh, you want to start with Mary, Queen of Scots? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's one. start with uh, Mary, Queen of Scots. It'll I take a second for Mary to come up. I here. highly recommend the Mary, Queen of Scots uh, audio um, presentation um, provided by Monty Python. Okay. That's about a minute and a half. Anyway, Mary, Queen of Scots stars Margot Robbie. Oh. Sour Iris Ronan. <laughs> CRC. CRC? CRC? She was in that movie that was up for awards uh, uh, last Oscar. Is time. it Sarcy? I think it's Sarcy. Sarcy? I think she's uh, Irish. Oh. So maybe I'll just say, like, Sarcy Ronan. There she is there with the red hair. Oh, okay. That's her? No, no. that's Margot Robbie. That's uh, oh. some makeup job. Mm. It's Tanya <laughs> Harding. Uh, and Gemma Chan, Mary Queen of Scots, explores the turbulent life of the charismatic Mary Stuart. Queen of France at 16 and widowed at 18, Mary defies pressure to remarry. Instead, she returns to her native Scotland to reclaim her rightful mm -hmm. throne. But Scotland and England fall under the rule of the compelling Elizabeth I. Each young queen beholds her sister in fear of fascination. That would be sister in quotes. <laughs> Rivals in power and love. Oh. Oh, what happened? Oh. Just that. And female regents in a masculine world, the two must decide how to play the game of marriage versus independence. I have no rating for this film. I just want to know how to say Sarah Iris. Say it. That's a frightening uh, makeup there. And, yeah. You are Mary, Queen of Scots. I am. <laughs> this is the money yes. Python. This is and then someone proceeds to beat the crap out of her. I think she ends up getting uh, off in some manner, Mary, there. In uh, the actual life? Yes. Not the sketch. Right. In both. <laughs> but I think the sketch is based on uh, her uh, some her life in some manner. Hey, I'm not sure what goes on with this storyline. I'm not too interested in the period. Of, uh, no? Okay. I think uh, the Margot Robbie is uh, Australian, I believe, right? I think she's Australian. Hmm. So, not that that matters. I know she was Harley Quinn. Yes. Not Queen, but Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Uh, let's see. I have Ben is back. Ben is back? Where'd he go? Let's find out. I think he was in rehab from oh. the quick look I had at this one. This is Julia Roberts, mm. Lucas Hedges, and Courtney B. Vance. 19-year-old Ben Burns unexpectedly returns home to his family's suburban home. That's an odd. I didn't write this. <laughs> returns home to his family's suburban home on Christmas Eve morning. Ben's mother, Holly, is relieved and welcoming, but wary of her son staying clean. Ooh. Over a turbulence, 24 hours, new truths are revealed and a mother's undying love for her son is tested as she does everything in her power to keep him safe. Including, what, hiding all the medicine? Yes. In an art for language and some drug use. If I don't deal with this, then it could be worse. A lot of drugs out there. Oh, it's a horrible thing, Ed. It's an epidemic. It is. And this is because the doctors are giving out too much of the pain medicine. Is that, is that correct? Uh, I guess. 
I don't know. I, I, was, uh, I have been prescribed pain medicine, yeah, and, you and I, had, I haven't used it on, on occasion. I have not used it. Mm -hmm. Unnecessary. When I had uh, wisdom teeth yanked out viciously. And if you have to use it, you use it, right. and you don't get addicted to it. That's right. Well, that's, I guess there's some people that are prone to that. Huh. There's a, uh, I don't know. It's just everyone's different. Ed. This is this. You can't blame them. No. You can blame them if they decide to go buy it on the street corner and start it for no reason. But if you get, uh, you know, they get, they get it prescribed, they don't know what they're getting into until it's too late. Jerry Lewis was addicted oh, for some reason to for some I, th I don't know if it was his heart conditions. Yeah, he had the back problem. He and the back, the that's right. Electric uh, buzzer put in that would buzz his pain. pain. Maybe that was after the. I'm not going to die. He had a drug problem. But it is a it's a horrible thing. It's the, it's the, it's the opioid crisis. The opioids. But Ben is back, and let's hope he stays back. <laughs> you don't want to lose Ben again. Ben. ben is back. This looks like something you would want to watch on the Lifetime channel. I don't know if we want to go out and pay uh, $12 matinee price for that. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't. I would <laughs> not do that. Especially when you can see Julia Roberts on some uh, TV show now. On uh, Prime, uh, Amazon Prime. Oh, I Amazon think it's Prime. Homecoming or something like oh, that. Oh, I can see that. I have mm -hmm. Amazon Prime. Yeah, I'm stealing someone's uh, sign-on, so I'm going to use that. I haven't found anything on Amazon Prime I like. Is there anything on Amazon um, Prime? Super Knocked Up is on there. You mm. can watch episode three for my three-second no. appearance. Out no, there. no. I want to I catch a, a series of some sort. Right now, I'm into the Dexter, Ed. Dexter, yeah, I haven't seen that. I have season one. I've got, I'm, on se I'm in season three right now, which is not, not a good one. I mean, it's not a bad one, but it's a little contrived, a little too far out there. But I'm in, episode, I'm in season three. I still have, I think, four more seasons to go. I think there were seven or eight. Yeah. Take a little bit of the time, because once that's over with, I got nowhere to go. I don't know what's next. I feel like <laughs> uh, Richard Gere from uh, Officer and a Gentleman. I got nowhere else to go. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you see that recently? No. That just, would not have jumped into my head. No? Okay. That scene there. All well, right. Actually, ask, ask me again if I've seen it recently. Ask me again. Have you seen that officer or a gentleman? Yes, I did. Who's that, Emil O'Toole? Emil O'Toole. All right, Vox Lux. Oh. Starring Natalie Portman, Jude Law, and Willem Dafoe. And I've always had this little thing with Willem Dafoe. Uh huh. With the name Willem. Because, was it a brother or someone couldn't say William? Uh huh. So they said Willem? Uh huh. It's not really a big difference, is it? No. Willem to William? He could have just gone back to William. He could have, yes. All right, whatever. Fox Lux, a 20th century portrait, begins in 1999 when teenage Celeste survives a violent tragedy. After singing at a memorial service, Celeste transforms into a burgeoning pop star with the help of her songwriter sister and talent manager. By 2017, adult Celeste is mounting a comeback after a scandalous incident almost derailed her career. I would think it did derail her career if she has to have a comeback. Yes. Touring in support of her sixth album, a compendium of sci-fi anthems entitled Vox Lux. The indomitable foul mouth pop savior must overcome her personal and familial struggles to navigate motherhood, madness, and monolithic fame. Rated R for language of strong violence and drug content. Huh. Yeah. I'm, I'm with you on that. What did it say? It's, uh, or was, uh, was, was I seeing this on the screen? It's a, a, a big film. It's a big film? A big film? Out there film. Oh, man. You Prepare must... to be wowed. That's oh, the Rolling that Stone. How did they see it for know. us? Is this like, uh, is she supposed to be like an extreme version of that Lady Gaga? I think it's something along those lines. Is she a, a composite of a Gaga and a Madonna and a, who else is crazy and wacky? It looks a little bit like that uh, Black Swan she was in too. Yes. A little odd. I remind, the read kind of reminded me of that. When it said something about she's, you know, personal struggles, because wasn't she kind of a little off-center there because of her crazy mom in Black Swan? Yeah, I did see that once. It was pretty good. I don't remember a lot about it other than the... Oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> with the uh, 
Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. And Barbara a, Hershey playing the crazy mom. Having a little lunch there. Oh! As <laughs> I'm, I'm hearkening back to that previous uh, show last week with the vid with the munchies. <laughs> the munchies. munchies. Yes. I have to watch. I never saw the munchies or munchie, whatever was first. I don't know. Why not? I don't know. Uh, looks like it's about DVD time. DVD time. We got 15 minutes left. We may have to go to some stories. Or the DVDs. We'll see. Do you right. have any stories out there in the world? Mm. I haven't been out in the world as No? Much. Do you leave the house, Ed? Uh, on occasion. Oh. Mainly for a shopping trip or a trip to the uh, post office. Oh, are you, are you, so are you becoming a shut-in? Uh, a little bit, and I don't mind it. <laughs> I don't like going out. I don't know what happened in the six I can't stand being <laughs> home. <laughs> I'm always oh, out. There we go. All right. What we'll, do we got? We'll talk about leaving the house in a moment. Oh, this is the good zombie, the Italians. Oh, yeah. that last one on the right. Oh, that's a great scene. Not only because she's uh, <laughs> just got done taking a shower and we get to see all of her beautiful uh, huh? flesh, but the spike into the eye. Nicely done. Yes. This is... 79 or 79, 80? 79. These are three Steelbook uh, releases. Which cover would you pick? Uh, if you um, had to pick one. The, the, the one in the middle is kind of boring, isn't it? It is, but isn't that all the zombies walking across the Brooklyn Bridge? Yes. I would go with the, you know, the the eye one. I like ah. the eye one. You think you'd close your eye? Yeah. But she's just want, she's just welcoming that big hunk of wood into her orbitals. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. I like that movie. I think uh, that was the poster, that zombie. And what didn't it say, I'm going to eat you? Or was that uh, another movie? Uh, I don't know. Or we are going to eat you. Kind of like no, I think you're thinking of Maximum Overdrive. Or Black Swan. We're going to scare the hell out know. of you. Uh, Westworld. Westworld. Is this, this isn't the HBO one. This is, is the HBO one. This is season two, The Door, whatever that was. Now, the HBO there doesn't put any of their shows on Netflix. They don't. I haven't seen any. Because huh. they have the old, like, didn't they do Six Feet Under? Wasn't that one of theirs? I, yeah. That's not on Netflix. Huh. Um, so you have to have their own, their app. Yeah, they have their own thing it's going not, on. And I'm not paying for that. Or Blu-ray. I did right. get a good deal on the first season of Westworld, but I haven't watched it yet. Is Anthony Hopkins in this? He's in it, yeah. Okay. Then there's the guy who's a gunslinger. I forget who it is. I don't know. Uh, don't they also do that game? Oh, excuse me, that Game of Thrones? HBO? Yes. How many seasons is that? Uh, eight or so. Oh. It's got a half a season left to go. Oh, and they're, they're ending it? And then it's ending. I've never seen an episode except for the uh, <sighs> naked walk there. <laughs> Shame. Sh oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Shame. And the man who... Flashes his dangling participle at her. Was that during that scene? Yes. Oh, my. I only saw the first season, and I think I'm going to have to go back and watch it again before I go on because that was like two years ago. Mm hmm. Um, since there are only like 10 episodes a season on these shows. Oh, oh. what's this? Alice Cooper. Well, it's what a is it? Television yeah. generation. I have no idea what this is. Are these videos? He's, didn't he do like videos before really there was an MTV or videos? Um, I remember seeing. Uh, well, he had in 1975 the Welcome to My Nightmare movie mm. film. I think it might have even been just a television film where he did his, you know, schlocky stage show for. It wasn't a concert recorded, it was for television, um, but that was in 75, 76. I, I have no clue what this is, but boy, that's a young Alice Cooper. <laughs> That's 71. That's probably the 71 end. Of oh, the yeah, end. that would make him in 71 or about 23. Because yeah. I believe he is now, well, on February 9th, Ed, mm -hmm. I believe he will be 70. 71? 71. I think he's born in 40, well, 48. So yeah, he'll be 71 in February. Huh. Still out there doing the uh, singing I'm 18 <laughs> when he's not. <laughs> oh, my. I think I put this on my Amazon list, so uh, there was no description of what this is. So maybe when it comes out, I'll see what it is here. <laughs> All right. Do, do. Prince, Prince of Darkness. I, I wasn't Alice Cooper in that. Was he? I think he was. Is that I think him he on was, the left? Yeah, I, I don't know. I thought he was in that. 
I think he was just very, I don't think he said anything. I think he just stood there as like an ominous vampire huh. figure. But I don't think he said a word. He just stood there. But I think he was in this. I was going to say, I've never seen this. So I threw it on here to see if you knew what it was. And um, you know Alice Cooper was maybe in it. He, he, I believe he is in it. Um, is that Donald Pleasance? Donald Pleasance. I'm not sure who that other guy is. That might be the guy from Halloween 3, perhaps. Yeah, I don't really think I've seen this whole film, um, but it's a vampire-type film. Yeah, um, I'll probably take a look at this now. Why not? I mean, Alice was also in a movie called Monster Dog, uh, which was awful, and his entire voice was overdubbed, a, a, <laughs> a la Clinton Spillsbury. <laughs> Why did they overdub him? I don't know. But it was on, it was, it was the last year I saw Monster Dog, Alice Cooper. I said, oh, i got to check out how bad this movie is. And it was pretty bad. <laughs> but bad. when he was, when he first came out and he was talking, I said, that's that's not his voice. Oh, no. I was just uh, a little amazed at how they uh, took out his entire voice. And uh, it's like, what was it? Clinton Spillsbury in 85, uh, I think, was the... That's the famous one, but also on the Comet this month is Hercules in New York. Oh, no. Is that the... Uh, where they overdubbed uh, mm. Arnold's voice, which we could see why they would do that, and right. uh, Lou Ferrigno, of right. course. Right. Well, speaking of that Comet channel, they had uh, Countess Dracula on. Let's, let's finish these up before I do right. Countess Dracula. Yeah. I think we're almost done here. Then we can cut back to us. Oh. Yeah, get rid of this one. <laughs> Get rid of that. Well, one. that was the new one before okay. this, which we went. Well, this is the new one. I can fix it. This is the new one from uh -huh. this summer, which was pretty good. I did see that when you know Movie Pass was working, and I could see film. And then this one, because you probably missed a few, Dave. You didn't get caught up. I these, missed a few. With the six movie collections. All right. I'd say I need to catch up on. I don't know, six of them. Six. You didn't see six. No, I haven't seen any. The one. second one is bad. I watched them all again. Not too long ago, but the second, I don't know what happened with that second one. That's why I didn't watch a lot of them after that, mm. until that, uh, the one before this one. Oh, The Nun. The Nun I saw in the theater. I liked The Nun. It was kind of had a little hammer vibe. Really? I don't know, it was set in the 1920 or something, maybe. But it had that hammer vampire with the two pe people and the priest going to the town, and they have to go into the old nunnery. Were they carrying torches? I think there were some torches in there. That's always a sign of a good horror film. When there's and torches. They carry torches. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh already? I see. Oh, see, now I would have seen this, but uh, I didn't. Uh, and um, I don't know. I'll have to wait for it to hit Netflix. That's a good place to see because I saw it, and it was okay. It was the dirty puppets, and yeah. we saw the best scene in the trailer, of all things, with okay. the spraying silly string around. But, uh, <laughs> eh, it was all right. Not as good as the other 70s puppet movie that we love. Oh, there you go. All right. Yeah, I saw Countess Dracula. All right. The Hammer film on the Comet Channel. They had showing all month November. So I'm, try and see it if you haven't seen it yet. And there's a lot of Ingrid Pitt nudity. And not even nudity. She had like a sheer top on. Yeah. And I guess it's good they don't cut the entire scene out. But there was a blurred spot this big <laughs> on the screen over Ingrid Pitt. And then she walks over. There's a nude body over here. And that had a big <laughs> blur over it. So there's a blur here. <laughs> blur, over. <laughs> blur over there. The whole screen was blurred out. Don't show that movie if you can't. Oh. So bad. <laughs> hey, I, speaking of blurred parts, I recently saw Reanimator. Okay. And they did not blur that. I don't know what channel I had it on, but whatever it was. But the famous <laughs> scenes, the head scene, <laughs> we will say. Yeah, and uh, no blurring, no blurring of the. I mean, horrible acting in that movie. Is Just, there? Oh, it's awful. It's it's a bad. It's a good, campy film, mm -hmm. but. Let's face it, Jeffrey Combs is not an actor. Yeah, he was downtown in Albany for a Star Trek convention like a month ago. Was he? And if it wasn't so expensive, there's nobody else I would want to see. But hey, there's the guy with the head scene. Yes. Well, know. he was in the movie with that scene. Yeah. He wasn't the... the he the, was participating. Right. He was the... He was the, played the doctor um, who could reanimate people after their deaths. 
And apparently not a good actor? Or no, he's terrible. Is it a campy role, or is he bad well, at Star Trek? <laughs> well, I've never seen him in Star Trek, because I don't watch that stuff. Yeah. But, I, I mean, that's... I think there was Return of Reanimator, which was nowhere near as good as the and first one. And it was one. a TV version, too, or Showtime. But, yeah, they did not blur. No. Not, not that. Not El Ray that. will show uncut stuff. Will it? Okay. Maybe there, or the IFC. Oh, channel. I don't get the El Ray anymore. You since know. I downgraded my... Cable. Oh, what did you get? Just basic cable? Uh, I have the basic package, which is still a lot of channels, but it takes away a, a handful that I had. All right. Because I don't watch it. I don't watch TV, really. <laughs> the hockey, that's all I watch. Yeah. As long as you have the Hallmark channel. They didn't oh, take, yeah. You got to have the Hallmark they channel. They didn't take that away. No, you, I will never get a package without the Hallmark channel. That's almost forced upon every level. Oh, of, uh, it's so entertaining. But anyway, it's uh, game time. I'm looking at camera because here's the game. Yeah, I think uh, for the game uh, topics, you should... Be and when I do the... Story. When I, okay, but when I do the, the, the address, I look at that one. No, we uh, said Oh, we're going to stay that one. Yeah. So what's the point of that one? That one is for long stories, but oh. you haven't had one lately, no. have you? No. Anyway, it's post a pairs game. You send in two numbers from one to six we, via email. We select our entry and see if they match, and you win. Two tickets. What do we got, Ed? I do have to white up this one in case, I think, when you were talking about the Hallmark movies, unless it was over the DVD releases. Oh, I don't know. This is Betty Grinter, another longtime uh, entry, writer in her. Right. <laughs> She's spinning the wheel okay. if she matches with one and four. Now, if she matches and we have to do the poppers, you're prepared to clean up. Yes, I cleaned up from the last time. Did we have poppers once before? We did have poppers at the I last time. I just season. don't remember crap these days. One and four. Here we go. I'm in uh, this camera. I only remembered because I was cleaning a popper. Oh, okay. For this table. Two, two, one. Oh. This is the old up and down toy, we call it here. I'm going to sneak a peek and see. Oh. Very exciting, Betty. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. Not exciting. Oh. Well, you're tricking Betty. I right? misled. Oh, I'm sorry. I misled. Shocker's you. film. Oh, I misled the, the 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 Grinter. I think I just found Shocker's. I think that was professionally put on video. <laughs> Keep it hidden. <laughs> I yeah, I, I think we did. We go to the place uh, with the video <laughs> environment. What's happening? Oh, what's happening on Western? And then we said, what's happening to our film? Because the, <laughs> the voices were off, and we had to bring it back and had it redone. Oh, dear. All right. Well, sorry, Betty. You didn't win. But if you want to enter the contest, people, here's how you do. See this email down here? <laughs> it's MediaZone95 at gmail.com. That's MediaZone95 at gmail.com. Send in two numbers via that email from 1 to 6. We select our entry, reveal it's behind the two numbers. If they match, you win two free movie passes. And if you write span on your entry, you have a chance to win up to six tickets. We will spin the wheel, which we haven't shown anyone for the past three weeks <laughs> because no one's won. Hmm. So there you go. That's how you That's how you enter. We'll take out our wheel next time if there's no winner. Just to, just to show that people. it does exist. Yes. Right. It was purchased especially for the new media zone and right. has come out maybe three times during the new tapings. You have to remember, it was, it's still a fledgling show. It is. Even though it's the same show we've been doing since 85 or whatever. Right. 85, yeah. It's a Street fledgling movie. show because we're still, we're tweaking. We're tweaking it. We'll get it right in our last episode. <laughs> That'll be the perfect one. It's come along pretty good. We've got uh, my switch over here, which I can control the uh, time in another mm -hmm. minute or so. Yep, yep. Got all the switches. I'm, I'm producing the entire show right here where we had a whole nother person and a stack of equipment <laughs> on blocks. On cement blocks. On cement blocks. <laughs> he would kneel on a pillow. <laughs> on the pillow. Right here I can sit on a, on a bench here and control it on something that is, everything is on a TV table. Size <laughs> play here. Somehow we needed equipment and I, I still don't know why we needed a 1980s camcorder to run our sound through. I don't know why. That's just <laughs> well, how he did it. Yeah, he didn't want to change because it worked for him. Yes. You don't want to change anything. You'll see it if you watch the opening of the show. You'll see it. Yes. You see him waving. Yeah. That's all his stuff sitting right there in front of him. And, of course, that segment that you showed, uh, which <laughs> people could go back to and look at. Yeah. All of his, all that. 
horrible wiring. I've got the wiring down pretty much, the basic wiring, and of course I took out the uh, the grounding. Right. <laughs> so, so, so I don't spill any water down here. <laughs> All right. What's next time? Oh, Spider Man, the what? An animated Spider Man. Mortal in, in theaters? In theaters. All right. And the Mortal Engines and the House That Jack Built, which looks disturbing and has Matt Dillon in it again. Oh, another film with him in it. All right. So we'll do those, and we'll see you back here next time. The New Media Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.